Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome back. We're going to finish off our 2019 Pascal paper with question 25 in this video. In the diagram, PR and QS intersect at V. So P, Q, R, S is the quadrilateral. Uh, here's V, There's two lines intersecting. Also, W is on PV. U is on PS, T is on PQ, with QU and ST passing through W. For some real number X, uh, we've got a lot of areas here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my picture a little bit bigger and label each of the areas they're talking about. All right, there we go, it's close enough. All right, so for some real number x, PUW is 4x plus 4, SUW is 2x plus 20, so let's label those. All right, and then SVW is 5x plus 20, SVR is 5x plus 11, so very similar in areas there. 5x plus 20, 5x plus 11. All right, and then uh, QVR is 8x plus 32, and QVW, 8x plus 50. Okay, so that's a lot of areas, although we, we are missing two of them. Uh, the area of PTW, so this one up here, is closest to 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. All right. So if, just highlight this one, this is the one I want. And none of my answers are in terms of X, so there should be a way for me to, to get X or to approximate X, possibly with some bounds or something. Uh, but I still need an expression for this in terms of x, even if we can't find x. Okay. So what can we do? Well, we've got a lot of triangles here. And I am immediately drawn to this triangle here and the one below it because of the similarities in, in the areas. So if I look over here, it's 5x and something. If I look over here, it's 5x and something. If I look over here, I've got 8x and something. If I look here, I've got 8x and something. But the somethings are ever so slightly different. So is there a way to use that to my advantage? And absolutely there is. These two triangles share a common base, but they're not the same triangle because we've got these outside points. So what we can do is use a nice little result. I'll, I'll show you the, the clean version of the result here, because I think we're probably going to use it a couple times. If I have a triangle, and I've got um, it, um, not an altitude, but a, a line through one point extending to the base at some point, and um, the, it cuts the base into side lengths of a ratio A to B, turns out the areas have a ratio of A to B as well. Not that this area is A. It's A times something, this is B times something. But the reason this works is, well, because we split into two triangles, one triangle, two triangle, but they both have the same height, the area for this triangle would be base A, one half base times A times this H here. What about this triangle here? It would be one half base of B times that same height. So the ratio, it's A H over 2 to B H over 2. Well, the H over 2s would cancel, and so the ratio here is A to B. Okay. Now, how does that help? You, we're not talking about side lengths. They haven't told me any side lengths at all, and that's absolutely true. But if I look at these two triangles, they share the same base, and they, they've got lines that are splitting the base in the same way. So whatever, well, no, let's not use x, let's use y to z. Whatever the ratio is here, the areas must have that same ratio. 
So ax plus 50, or 8x plus 50, is to 5x plus 20, I want to say. As 8x plus 32 is to 5x plus 11. Well, now, we don't have to write them as ratios like this. We could turn them into fractions. So 8x plus 50 over 5x plus 20 is the same as 8x plus 32 over 5x plus 11. They have the same ratio. And now, well, if we just cross multiply, multiply them on this side, both sides, and this, this one over here, we'll get 8x plus 50 times 5x plus 11 is 8x plus 32. And I'm liking that there's 8 and 5 because uh, it looks like the 40x squared that I get when I expand these out. So we'll get 40x squared. Uh, 50 times 5x is 250x. 11 times 8 is 88. 250 plus 88 is 338x. And then 11 times... 50, 11 times 50 would be 550. Over on the other side, we're going to get 40x squared, 8x times 5x. 8 times 20 is 160, 32 times 5 uh, divided by 2, move it over. So we get 160 plus 160, and then 32 times 20, we get 320, 460. These cancel out right away, so I should be able to solve for x. 338 minus 320 is 18, so 18x. 64 minus 55 is 9, so 90. Divide by 18 on both sides. X is 5. So not only is it a real number, it's an integer. And now I can, I can work out all my other areas, all the areas that are given at least. So we had, what, uh, 8x plus 50, so this would be 90. 8x plus 32 would be 72. 5x plus 11, so 5 times 5, 25 plus uh, 11, 36. 5x plus 20 would be 45. And you'll notice, hey, these have the same ratios, ratio 2 to 1. That's kind of nifty. Uh, it was 2x plus 20, so this should be 30, I think. Let's just go back and check. Yep, and then 4 times 5 plus 4 is 24. Okay, fantastic. Uh, but now, now that we know all the areas, that, that makes my life a little easier, but I still need to find this blue triangle. Now, there's a lot of lines, a lot of lines crossing, and there's a lot of triangles that share common bases. So based on this picture, this area over here is to 24, what this area down here is to 30. All right, so I don't know what, uh, what the, this area is. Maybe we call this um, A and B. Well, no, let's, let's call the one that we want to solve A. We call this A, we call this B. We know that A plus B, the area of, of what's left over here, is to 24, as 90 plus 45 is to 30. Okay, uh, so if we, A plus B, we do 90 plus 45, that's 135. Over 30, bring the 24 over. So just grab the calculator, 135 times 24 divided by 30, we get 108. So I know the area of A plus B on their own is 108. Okay, um, now is there some other way we can divide this? So I used that line, I've used that line. I'd like to get a line that has A on one side, B on the other side. So I think if we use this line here. So this is my point, and this is my point. So my, my line divides it right here. So 24 plus 30 is to A, 
what 45 and 90 is to B. So that gives me another equation. So 54 is to A, what 135 is to B. All right, so now we can, um, I guess, multiply 54 B is 135A. I can definitely divide both sides by 9. Uh, can I divide both sides by 27? I can. So this is 5A and this is 2B. So 5 times A is the same as 2 times B. Now, how does this help? Well, I know that A plus B is 108. So what do we want? We want to solve for uh, A. So let's solve for B in terms of A. B is 5 halves A. A plus 5 over 2A. Uh, multiply both sides by 2, I guess. So 216 is 2A plus 5A. So that should be 7A. So uh, about 30-ish, I guess, which makes sense given the answers. But uh, it would be 21 divided by 7. It's 30 plus 6 over 7. So just under 31, I think. So two, uh, 216 divided by 7. A is 30.8571. It's, it's 30 plus 6 sevenths, basically. And so that's about 31. 31 should be one of the answers. It's there at the end, it's E. So we're going to close the contest off with an answer of E. And there we go. So that's, uh, the, that's the, the end of our 2019 Pascal paper. I think it was a, an okay paper. Uh, in fact, I think most of the 2019 papers are good. If you're looking for an extra challenge, you're more than welcome to try the 2019 Kaylee, which is uh, a step up. If you're looking for other uh, contests aimed at a grade 9 level that may be a bit more challenging, you're more than welcome to try any of the Friar papers I have uh, on my channel because they are grade 9 level, but they are written solutions as opposed to these multiple solutions. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you for more math in another video. Until then, take care.